ripples. And when there is no longer a shoulder for me to lean on, I turn to the sky. I see stars shining that remind me of that gleam in your eyes. When I shyly said hi late at night, we were ripples in the space-time continuum because there was no time, form, or size that could properly describe how I felt or how I feel or how I will feel. We were ripples in the space-time continuum about you. And when there is no longer a shoulder for me to lean on, I turn to the sky. And I am not reminded of gleaming eyes, I am reminded of galaxies bigger than I, bigger than we could have ever imagined. There are more forces at play than the chemistry we have, and if I flew into a black hole, I could be the first man in history to prove that we really were ripples in the space-time con- and when there is no longer a shoulder for me to lean on. I admit my faults to the people I swore I'd never disappoint. I tell them the darkness I once lived in, and they no longer see me the same. But in traveling through space and time, I have learned that you cannot have anxiety without an eye smack dab in the center, proclaiming that my pride has gotten the better of me, and I've denied my Savior the satisfaction of setting me free, because I think it's all about me, but the truth is, nothing is, and when there is no longer a shoulder for me to lean on, I transfer my focus from shoulders to mountains that will never leave, move, or change their mind. Mountains that have been sculpted by a divine hand that reached from other lands not visible to us yet. I rest my weight on steady rock that is an anchor when life seems shaky. My heart aches for time wasted in a ripple when the truth was I perceived time to be repeating and reversing itself, but in reality time was not looping around in circles. I was.